So what Randy's doing right now is building the boxes um, on the edge of the gables. We'll do one on each side, and then we'll put the cedar up and join it. Dang, that's like a little gun. Double tap. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare has been a sponsor of ours for quite some time now, and we really enjoy working with them. So let me tell you a little bit about them. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes um, to help people like me and maybe some of you guys out there um, to learn and craft their skill. Skillshare is for people who love to learn and want to explore their creativity and learn a new skill. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. So do you have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Um, if so, Skillshare is a perfect place for you to start, um, from photography and illustration to graphic design, uh, freelancing, and more. You can find classes that will match your goals and interests. So are you looking to start a career change? Um, if so, Skillshare can be for you. Um, not only in the YouTube world, um, Facebook world, but so many other things that you can learn from Skillshare other than just the social media part of it. But since that's what we do full-time now, let me talk a little bit about how it has helped us. Okay, so we love Skillshare because you can go on there and they have a vast uh, library of videos just like this one, uh, filmmaking, transform your idea into a short video. I like how on the side here that they actually have a library of times and places where each category is located. So it makes it easier for you to find the exact part of the video that you're wanting to learn and to craft that skill the best. Um, there's, there's just so much that you can do with Skillshare, so many classes online that will help you right in your living room, your bedroom, your office, wherever you're at, you can learn. How awesome is that? We just love Skillshare, how there's pretty much anything you can think of that you want to learn is probably on here. All you do is go up there and search, look, how to cook. You want to learn how to cook or meal prep? There's a video for you. Check it out. How to cook productively, a meal planning system for beginners. I'm telling you, there's so much stuff on here that you guys can learn from. So if you guys are interested in learning today, click the links down below in the description box and a pinned comment. Use discount code Keeping It Dutch. Get your one month free trial. So also Skillshare is a sponsor of per FTC guidelines. Um, so if you guys are interested in any of this, please click the links down below. You guys will not be disappointed. Come learn with me and come learn with the like-minded community of fellow Skillshare people. Let's get back into the video. What happened? Oh, you can have it now. Hold it, we have the nail for you. Yeah. Yep. Right on that line. Okay. That saw's right behind you. Wonder why your I think yours is still wet or something. Something they ain't holding the up. I'm gonna use these clamps all the time now. Yeah. <coughs> oh yeah. Good thinking, Randy. Good thinking. Don't let this stab you.
Okay, so we got the side porch done. It's ready to be roofed. That's what our agenda is, to get this ready to be roofed. So I'm gonna show you what we got done so far, and then we're gonna move to the front of the house and get that porch ready. And probably in the next video or two, um, we'll be working on the big gables, and then this thing will be ready to roof. So I just don't know how much you can tell, but we got all that done, all the way down. So this is ready to be, uh, the porch is ready to be roofed, and then we'll be working on this in the next few days we're going to finish the porch up the porches up today and then come back and do these so we're making progress um we're on schedule <laughs> always on schedule and uh let's walk around over here and i'll film a little bit of the front porch being done and we'll kind of just go from there There's the front of it we got done. We got the side porch done and we still got to put the webbing up, but we're going to go inside um, hopefully this weekend sometime, next few days sometime um, and do the gables and do the inside there um, of the, the um, soffit underneath the porches itself. Did that look good? What do you think? Is it looking good out here? We picked up hey, the Hey, you wood. got some sun today. Is that for school? Yeah, we were outside for like four hours. Really? You got burnt. Sorry. Okay. Thanks for helping. Welcome. I saw the mom bird in their feeding ground. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Um, the girls came out and helped me clean up the mess a little bit, got the yard straightened up just a little bit. All the rocks, look, it's a rock yard out here. We got tons, that's all we got is rocks. Um, but we picked up all the little stuff, just getting this place picked up because, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a hazard with the big rocks and then all the two by fours and all that stuff laying around. So it was time for us to get on the ball and get that cleaned up. So we got both porches done. Um, all we have left now until they can until we can get it roofed is the two end gables the two big gables and we're going to work on that later on the week um, you guys may see me bouncing around maybe working on the cabin i need to mill some more wood on that some more siding um, but that might be what we're doing between um, we get the gables done and uh, all that so we got plenty of stuff to do around here and uh, the cabin 
is one of the things that we need to do. So we'll probably take care of that. Okay, soon. it's the next day and it has been drizzling all morning. It finally just now let up. The chickens were over making a bunch of ruckus. I'm assuming it's just a hen um, wanting to either show off her eggs she just laid or in line to go actually lay some eggs. So, so check on them. And then I have a little project I'm gonna take care of today. Um, you guys know we got the Cooney Cooney pigs, the Pearl and Percy, and um, I, got, I got something I'm gonna do for them. And I can already hear Pearl, I think. Well, I don't know, it might be Percy. You already ate this morning. Both of you guys already ate. You want more, ain't you? You want some grass? So they do have a little bit of grass over there. But, and I've seen them eat that, but they poop and pee over in that area, so they probably don't want that all the time. We're going to take care of you guys. And which one of you is making all this noise? I think it was probably you, wasn't it? Was it you? Or it could have been you. I'm not real sure. Or, where'd she go? It was her. Anytime I'm outside and I hear the chickens going crazy like that, um, I always come out and check check just to make sure there's nothing in the hen house. Ten times out of ten, there's ever, nothing ever going on other than the ladies wanting to show off or whatnot. But I always check just in case. Cause one time I don't check, something bad's going to happen. Uh, but let me show you what I got planned for this morning um, to show you guys. So the Cooney Coonies are known for grazing, for eating grass and not rooting a whole lot very little rooting is what i'm told and we actually do have some grass it's probably more like weeds uh, on the homestead we have an area this is the area that we want to fence completely off i actually want to extend it out into the woods even more get it, get that cleared a little bit and i may get my bobcat over here and see if i can clear any of that with it i don't think i can clear a whole lot with it but we'll, we can try um, but right now what we're going to do is i actually have another roll of premier one netting i think i'm going to get it out i'm going to set it up over here where we can actually move them in the morning over here so they can graze all day long and then at night or whenever we can put them back over in their main little sleeping area next to the chickens i think that's a really good idea and i got some netting that i'm not using and it would make it would make a good a good little paddock for them over here so they can actually get grass all day long and that will cut back on their grain because we're, we're graining them two times a day once in the morning and once at night and they're devouring it they're absolutely destroying it um so this will cut back on that too so let's go find um the netting get it over here see if we can't get it set up and uh, kind of go from there and of course i pulled the camera out so bobby wants to show off for you guys what's up bob looking beautiful as ever okay hi look at him he'll start shuddering maybe <laughs> and of course we got sue over there and i seen mary where was mary at where'd mary go have you seen mary there's gabby and gracie but where's mary i just seen her over here somewhere okay so here's the netting um i actually have some hog netting which that would work just fine but i feel more comfortable with the taller um netting for um, the poultry and sheep and goat and i have some of that right here too so i'm gonna go ahead and use it we'll get it out of here get it cleaned up get a, most leaves whatever we can we'll just get this out and see see how it does put it in brandy's gorilla um, cart that her mom and dad got her put it to use I told Randy, he brought this over and I said, yeah. I said, Randy had me drill holes in the bottom of that as soon as you dropped it off so the water would, so the water would uh, drain. Hey, he didn't think that was real funny. <laughs> of course I didn't, but look, it's got a little handle here. Just drain out that way. Beep, beep, beep. This came directly from the old farm that we sold to here. It hasn't moved, so let's hope for the best. Let's hope we can get it untangled. I didn't run it over the lawnmower or anything. We'll see. What's up? What you doing? Huh, Grace? Huh, Gabby? What you doing?
There's one end. That's actually a good good thing. Be able to find it that quick. Well, never mind. If we can get it untangled, we'll be in business. Oh, that's it. This is the one I got ripped. Go ahead and just separate it because it's already tore up. Let's see what we can do. So that was Brandy. She called and um, she's on her way home. She The girls are having steak testing and she's one of the... Um, not really a tutor, but one of the watchers that watches them while they're doing it. And uh, so I'm gonna get this netting set up for the pigs. And then if she gets here, um, I'm gonna let her uh, coax them into coming over here. And uh, it probably won't take a whole lot because they'll see this grass. They'll probably stop on the way eating grass. Um, but I think they're really gonna like it over here. We'll give them some water set up and all that. We got Gabby coming over here. Come on, Gabby. Come on, Gabby. Gabby, you haven't been getting any attention with the camera. Maybe we need to do some guard dog videos, huh? German Shepherd guard dog. What do you think about that? They do an awesome job guarding the homestead. Okay, so let me get this set up. It just took a little bit of patience. I think it's going to work. Um, I had to cut one little piece out. Either that's the piece. I had like three of these, and one of them actually did hit with the lawnmower. I'm thinking this is probably it. Yeah, I don't I don't know, um, but I think it's going to work still. So let's get it set up, get us a little perimeter around here, and get the, the cootie coonies moved over here and get them some water and all that. And uh, when Brandy gets home, I'll show you that part. Okay, that's basically all there is to it. And what's cool about this, um, once they eat this up, it'll probably take them a while, there's two of them. Once they eat on this, um, we can actually just rotate the fence. And we can get this whole area um, of grass for them. I really think they're gonna enjoy this a lot more than just being over there in the pen getting grain because that's their nature is to eat the grass and to forage. There's, there's um, acorns all over here and the grass and leaves and all that stuff. So um, they're gonna like it better once we get moved over here. And uh, I could talk to Brandy too and see what she thinks. We kind of like having that run over there because that was the chicken coop or the chicken coop run, but they just free range uh, every day anyways. So we could actually get that netting over there and um, bring them over here and put their shelter and everything over here too um, if we wanted to. We'll just kind of wait and see what she thinks. I kind of like having them all right next to each other um, just for like alarm purposes because Bobby literally sleeps right above the chickens and any noise he hears, he goes crazy. It's funny. Um, we pull up, anyone pulls up, he's the first one to start making noise before our guard dogs do. How crazy is that? Bobby is actually a really good guard animal and uh so it's pretty cool so as soon as brandy gets here um we'll get them we'll get the pigs moved over here okay so my camera messed up and uh, all the footage i got of actually moving the pigs over to their new, new little paddock is gone i don't have it um so i actually recorded uh brandy acting all confident like she's gonna walk over there and they're gonna follow her they literally came out of the cage and went straight into there as she's walking saying come on they wouldn't listen so i'll do a little a replay for you guys of what you actually missed and here comes brandy well, brandy i was telling them how it didn't record yeah, but then not, you and we're not doing that again no and you came over here all confident like they're just gonna follow you your best they friends they usually do what happened they smelled chicken feet uh-huh so let's walk this way we'll kind of give a little reenactment of what well, they missed and also we might did you tell them we might have a plan b no I'll but for right now i'll let you okay. explain it i haven't told them because so they should have just followed me this way they went to the chicken food. yeah they went to the chicken food then they came over here and she's like all right they're following me and then they hit the chicken feed i threw out earlier for the chickens so i end up picking pearl up taking her squealing. over here huh squealing. squealing like a pig putting her in here and then i had to go pick up percy and uh, bring him over here too so now they are moved to their new spot brand you could kind of tell them the game plan what we talked about well he told a game plan before i knew about it but yeah um potentially they could stay in that 
little run at night. Um, well, I don't know. We're thinking we'd maybe feed them over there in the morning. Then after they've ate, bring them up here to just hang out here during the day to be able to graze and do whatever they want. And then when it's getting nighttime again, take them back over there to feed them and go to bed. Yeah. The only thing with up here is there's not a lot of shade. So we might have to move the whole thing kind of down there where it includes some of the trees or get something in there for shade. Yep, so what we were talking about too is that we could possibly even move that netting over here, make it a bigger area, like you said, around the trees. But I don't think it needs to be bigger. I kind of like- The small area. Where they can just come up here, yeah. They don't, I mean, they're little. Because the purpose is I want to do this so they can eat grass. Yeah. So if we stick them over there, there's not a whole lot of grass. It could just incorporate the trees barely yeah. just for the shade. We'll have to figure something out, but they're loving it. I had awesome footage of, of Pearl just chewing away yeah. on the grass like it was well, lettuce. And that, those little things with the red leaves, they were just Yeah, sucking them right off. So they're actually, I mean, they're loving it. That's well, what, and the perfect, like, a good thing about their breed is that they do eat a lot of this. So you shouldn't have to give them as much grain as we have been. Yeah. We just don't have a lot of grass. I mean, I still think they would eat as much grain as you give them, too. They're little Probably. piggies. But look at her. She says, yeah. But at least we know she doesn't need it, even mm -mm. if she thinks she wants it. Look at her. Are you very picky? She was eating everything. Look, that one, she's like, yep, that's a good one. Nope, that one's mine. At the rate they're on now, Brandon, I think they're going to have all this hate in about two days. Yeah. I didn't realize just how much grass they could actually eat. If they didn't mind being packed up for rides, I'd take them to people's houses to do their <laughs> yard for the day. Yeah. Well, I mean, but eventually we're going to have this uh, a big area for them, Brandy. So, I mean, you yeah, say you well, like the small all area. Yeah, different areas where grass pops up, we can move it at different yeah. days. Yeah, it'd be easy to move both of us doing it. It's easy for me to do it myself. This took me a little bit to get untangled, but it's it's not hard to move this netting at all. Honey, you're getting that you're gonna get shocked. I want to get that off of her. She got a little tick she was Will trying to get turn off that of her. Off while she's distracted. So that Brandy found a tick she wants to get off of him. Well, I'm sure there's more than that. I'm sure there's more than one, but that one And we got some stuff coming that we'll be able to give them. Uh, oh Pearl! It's just not here yet. Can and last year, what you would you put some vinegar? Apple cider vinegar. And we can do it in these rubber balls. Yeah, last year we found out it's not it, in the metal bowl. It rust, I didn't rusted think about the that. metal one. Hold on a second. Can you help me? Honey. You sure that's a tick? Yes. Sweetie, sweetie. No, no, I got your ear. Hurry. She's not. It's her ear is tougher than a boot. Hi, baby. I really don't want a little blood sucker. Yeah. Did you get it? Kill it. Well, well they didn't go right back over there. <laughs> she away. got it, but it blew away. Hi, Jigger. You oh, had a belly rub today. Look at him. He's going down. You haven't he's going had down. A oh, belly he went down. <laughs> the netting's off. The netting's off. You haven't had a belly he rub. He went down like today. a rock in a lake. Oh, you haven't had your belly rub. You love Look it. Look at that. Oh, oh no. You love it. She's going to get jealous, Brandy. Look at him. Oh, he. Look. You love your belly rub, too. Like, they're just so sweet. I love you guys. Oh, there she goes. She's oh. like, my turn. See, I've been looking. She wants a rub, not an inspection, Brandy. Oh. Rub it. Give her a little scratchy Fat scratch. girl. Fat Should girl. Should I turn the netting on while Brandy's bent over? Fat girls. Oh. And boys. Oh. They love it. That's funny. <laughs> Don't turn it on, please. Okay, I explained in the video footage, Brandy, that why we have them over here, not in the pig pen. Do you want to explain to them? I... I just don't want to. I don't. I think they're too little. They don't necessarily need all that. Well, they're pets. They're not. The, yeah. That's a butchering pen, yeah. and we don't want them to think that they're going to be processed. These are our pets, and I told them that you guys want to get. You want to get another female, and you, you and Hayden and the girls want to start um, having them bred and sell them, yeah. and make some side money. Yeah. So we would pigs. have to. We'd have to build a different pen set pig setup anyway. So I feel like if we're going to process pigs every year, that's just the good one to keep for that. And you know, um, I feel like we process them in the fall, leading up to getting them again, we can kind of get it cleaned up yeah. and do all that and ready for the next ones. So I actually have some um, repairs I need to do in the next few weeks before we get to other pigs coming in, um, like the gates and stuff like that, that just wear and tear when you got big three, 400 pound pigs they in there. They push into They push in on stuff. Um, so that's what we do. We raise them um, for several families at the church and for ourselves. And um, we raise them once a year, and we get them in the spring, and then have them processed in the fall, and then it's empty all winter. Um, but this, we're gonna have to get up. We got all summer and spring and summer um, and fall to get a good setup for them for the yeah. winter. Cause I don't like raising pigs during the winter. Um, I, 
just breaking of the ice and all that stuff just a hassle but, but they're gonna be here for yeah they're your now. pets so brandy's gonna have to figure something out um, but yeah eventually we're gonna have all we're gonna have a big area back here i want to get that cleared out i might get my bobcat and see what i can clear with it but i have to get a dozer out here and just clear some of the underbrush so we can get some grass growing and just have more grass for the pigs that brandy and the girls are wanting to raise well and that's why i mentioned i would like to make that into our little feed room or buck buck uh, cabin number one you need it for anything i mean it's just a little cabin i mean but i would like to be able to put it somewhere we need a barn so my idea i don't know if i even told brandy this no but i like to build like a smaller barn right here for the feed yeah. have it in between these pens right well, in here don't even necessarily need a barn it could just be like a, shed. a covering and just as long as one side yeah not like this huge dry. barn but you know something for the uh, like you said i really don't want to turn that into one Okay, Pearl, we'll see you. Enjoy your lunch. Did you turn this back on? I think so. Put your no. whole hand on it. You didn't. Oh, no, because he was laying on they it. They enjoyed the belly rub. Yep. Pearl, Percy, we'll see you later. Hi, yeah. Okay, so you guys are up to date. Sorry I've lost all the footage of us actually moving them. It was actually pretty I good. Think the belly rub was cuter. Yeah, man, like Randy said, at least you got to see the belly rub. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, Please smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. We are building a homestead from scratch. Um, we got right under 40 acres that, of raw timberland in the foothills of the Ozark that we have been transforming into our new off-grid homestead. Um, so if you guys are new here, that's what we're doing. Um, we have no electricity. All we have is um, we have some solar and generators right now. Eventually, we're going to have all solar for the house. Oh, Brandy, tell them about... I was I'm let Brandy tell you guys something. So... 99% of the time I feel like our friends and family in town or in you know normal living situations kind of have the upper hand on the electric well I think it was two or three days ago yeah two, two days ago I think um I was helping at the school and everyone's like oh it was horrible there was no power this morning the kids were like I couldn't straighten my hair I couldn't make toast and I'm like oh we didn't even notice <laughs> so the whole town went out actually two almost towns. two towns yeah and we like didn't miss a beat yeah because that was just our norm how awesome is that and then once we get the full solar setup eventually we for the house you won't even know it's but amazing. yeah so I was like oh we're actually we have frozen water but they don't have yeah. electric yep but I was here working all day and she said hey, do you know there was no power I said no I haven't been on I haven't been on my phone all day we've been working and uh everyone was on Facebook I guess panicking because it was they were out of power for a few hours I mean like two towns pretty much yeah so that's the I guess one side perk of having your own electricity is you don't notice when the town's out but all right we'll catch you on next video thanks for watching